Right, hello everybody. Here we are. It's the uh, it's the time that we go out. I've just got to purchase a Bloodweiser babe, which is sadly all I can get due to the financial fair play rules. Of course, I would buy a wizard if it was allowed, but it's not allowed. Um, so there you go. Up against Christopher, who has got a amazing chorf team and an amazing well not actually that great a record to be honest but it's an amazing chorf team and you know for Cruz it's not an amazing record because Cruz is very good at the blood balls uh, and yeah this is obviously terrifying Cruz is like the greatest of all time in chalice isn't he with like six chalice wins or with well mostly with chorfs if not all and I don't know that uh, and I've got a decent elf team Miss, it's missing a lot of value from like a few TV basically. If this guy had 40 more TV and gets like Wrestle Strip or Wrestle Tackle, he's lots better. If he 20 more TV for sidesteps, like for 60 more TV, this team could be quite substantially better. Uh, block or dodge and all of these. So, like, you know, it could be a lot better for an extra little bit of TV. But, you know, obviously a Strength 5 catcher is pretty decent and so is an Edge 5 catcher um so there you go i'll be try harding um Skuro, calcium and Fimea are here to do the uh to do the commentary so fingers crossed and thank you guys hello right. everyone how we doing hello 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 here we are the big one round of 16 for the absolute legend won six uh, chalice and i've been like in team finals or something like absolutely stupid now Six weeks, hard graft comes down to this. Getting punched in the face repeatedly by chorfs and losing your team spectacularly. Well, I'm going to have to come in here and say that's not what's about, about to happen. He's not going to get punched in the face repeatedly. He's going he's gonna to be basically not playing for two halves, trying to just get to overtime and win yeah. a coin toss to two turn and win it. Uh, as we talked about pre-game, there's very likely going to be a DACA on both sides of the ball by Jim in this one. Might not even bother defending. We'll really see what happens. Obviously, the kickoff results might change his mind on that. Uh, but, you know, he, he doesn't want to get hit by Cruz. You know, this is the one elf team that really, or one of the main elf teams that really cares about, you know, claw mighty hits. That's uh, true. The problem is, you know, if uh, Jimmy... As he's trying to run away from the chores, Crucifer is used to people running away from his chores all his life. So he's absolutely <laughs> and the bulls are a real danger. The question is now that the Jimmy has a lot of guard and a lot of uh, strength with that the strength five uh, catcher, which is also immune to Claw because he's already armor seven in all his advantage there. So yeah. He's going to come to uh, Jimmy needs to high roll, to be honest. But yeah, he doesn't I mean, seem to run away certainly. and he's putting, you know, a good fight there. Maybe a little too close to the LOS there. I'll move uh, <laughs> any square. So Jim, Jim's <laughs> first turn is going to consist of his LOS hopefully surviving um, the inevitable Mighty Blow claw hits and then uh, hoping that Crucifer Jim fouls. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a lot of could happen, could happen. I mean, uh, that things uh, happen and he's uh, a good coach. And if uh, Jimmy managed to uh, take away one of the bulls or something like that, that's a lot of power lost by uh, Yeah, but that involves Jim coming up to fight. I really don't see that happening. I think he's going to back off almost immediately, especially if he loses someone off the pitch, uh, off the LOS right here. If Jim was going to dack her, then surely he would have just set up deep in his yeah, own half. Way. No, because like if he gets a blitz or something, like a short kick blitz, he wants to he wants to be able to put everything in there and still try and just flip the you know, flip the field. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I don't know, I could be wrong. It sounded like he didn't have many uh, illusions about um, coming into this game and uh, using his uh, strength five mighty blower for anything other than running the fuck away. <laughs> And, oh, uh, oh, pushes. Yeah, pushes don't matter so much with uh, three more hits to come, but better than nothing. The bigger one is that lack of armor break on the first guy hitting the floor. Here comes the second, though. Another non-break. Oh, here's the piling on, though. And just the stun. That is already a win for Jim there. Two out of three surviving. Doesn't look like Cruz is going to foul either. No. 
the, the dirty player is two way uh, back. That is a, a a miraculous result off the uh, the LOS thus far for Jim. Makes you wonder what horrible things about to happen <laughs> to make Here up comes for the it. Blitz with the ball. Movement five guy. Not look at that. That's about as good as Jim could have possibly hoped for off the LOS in the first turn. Yeah, pretty Got perfect it. that is, isn't it? Pretty perfect. And Crucifer's got no intention of um, fouling Linos off the pitch. He's going to be a bit more selective. So, yeah, that's a really good opening for Jim. That might even encourage Jim to defend a little bit more, but I, I think Jim's going to spend more time making sure that, uh, that, that he's getting one, you know, one hit a turn back at him uh, and, and nothing else. I have to say, I will have a role that one. Jimmy has four rolls. And I think uh, Crucifer is not going to mistake to expose one of the bulls uh, for the step five hit ever again. You know, I kind of agree with you on that too. Like, you know, you obviously you want to save your rerolls and you don't want to greed reroll a push block there uh, when you can pretty much just two plus away safely. But <laughs> I, I say that and he's, about to, he's about to roll a one here. But yeah, I mean, you're not going to get many hits on him. You might as well take the big hits when you can get them, see if you can put them down with Mighty Blow. Jim's turn to kill. Marty, Steve, uh, I think you're, uh, I think you're getting a, <laughs> a little ahead of yourself there. I didn't like the re-roll option there, purely on the basis that if you do one and nine it and fail to get that ball centered down, then you're trying to dodge out a tackle. So, well, I don't know why he didn't bring him away though. I guess oh, he's going to oh. look to overload him with guard. Yeah, yeah. I guess, the, I guess that. It's hard for Crucifer to get a hit back, but this, oh, this is, is very brave. fighty. This is yeah. very, yeah, this is very fighty and not what I was expecting. Maybe, yeah, maybe a... Jim has already pressed that big red fuck it button. Is just gonna go balls out. <laughs> just gonna go. <laughs> I mean, Jim. Jim is on the record as saying is sometimes like it's not the way he plays, but like there's nothing really against. Like, I think the best example is the Spider Kemry run, right? Just the, just the, you know, take the high roll skills, and if you high roll, you're gonna go far. He's got yeah. a kind of a high roll team. I don't think that's what Jim's doing here, but uh, you know, he he does have the, you know, the, the easy two plus out at option that Crucifer doesn't have. So you know, maybe he can try and uh, leverage his pressure a little bit. I don't know, Scuro. Uh, um, this feels solvable to me. This feels like Jim could probably manufacture a 2D on that strength up catcher. You mean, you mean Christopher? Yeah. No, Sorry, I don't yeah. like it. I yeah. mean, I was, I, I was shocked that he didn't dodge him away. I was really shocked that he didn't dodge him away. But I'm just trying to, trying to commentate on what we're looking at, and not what we're expecting. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be complicated, and you're going to have to invest a lot of. Uh, Chores, because after all, the players next to the strength five are so far guard, so the bulls are under yeah, but, strength here. That's actually a really good point. You'd have to expend a lot of manpower to, to develop that hit, wouldn't you? So, yeah. Yeah, but he's going to do that right now. All he has to do is, is blitz in, because right now he can 2D the sidestepper. If he knocks him down, then he's gold. If he doesn't, then he's in trouble, because yeah. that bull can just blitz in on the other guarder. And then all of a sudden the strength advantage goes to the the uh, the edge pull. Yeah. Uh, you sure about that? This is strength five again, and there's a guard next to it. Yeah, but Even you can if... push that guard away and have two guard on your own. Is what I'm saying. We'll oh, see yeah, what Christopher yeah, does here. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but again, then he's got his whole team lined up based against elves, which is, uh, if you're not hitting them, not the best place to be. I don't see it's that not, easy I, hit either. It's not an easy hit, but it looks like he's coming in for it. Actually, that blocks it. That that sidestep by Jim blocks it. Clever little sidestep there, it, which eliminates so. the 2D option. I like that. Jim, maybe Jim was playing two moves ahead and actually saw that when the rest of the commentary team failed. <laughs> Even so, how you can yeah. do it? I mean, imagine now the bull blitzes the guard to the strength five. Okay, that makes uh, the bull in front of the strength five, four and one assist. 
but the strength five still have one of the other assist at the other side. Whatever side you pick, he's gonna always have a guard. Yeah, it would be a one D, wouldn't it? Um, the best he could do there was a one D option. Yeah, now he's coming in. Yeah, he's he's giving up on that. Maybe he. Yeah, I don't know if he just didn't see that. Uh, didn't see that sidestep up there like we didn't. But regardless, it's um, it's gonna get his bull hit again. That strength five catcher is just incredible. <laughs> yep. But good God help us all if he goes off the pitch at any point. Oh. He gets See, now, with armor rolls, also armor eight helping. That would be a pretty nice foul target, wouldn't it? Tackle uh, Blocks, tackle. Yes. Wait, does I have uh, yeah. Dodge? Yeah, Any he... of the players of uh, Crucifer? No. Well, Gufark, I think uh, Aegean Bulls uh, gives them a lot of uh, options that are absolutely terrifying for the opposing team, if the Bulls is developed. <laughs> you know, just the classic Bull with IG3 and nothing else, not. But that Bull with stand firm, IG3 and all that. Nice. He can go pick up the ball if he needed, and then, yeah, what the fuck are you going to do? Oh, this is it. Nice armor little break. armor break there, yeah. Yeah, first power of the game. Turns into armor break. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? And that wasn't even the strength five. Strength five hitting the other bull here. Nah, just a push there. <laughs> I thought he was going to He's going to get rowdy. He's going to no, no, get no. rowdy. Yeah. Now the <laughs> amount of chorfs in the surrounding area with God is uh, too much. Was well, good well was none aligned. of those chorfs can really get over to that side. He's not. Jim's not afraid of those hobos, you know? <laughs> he doesn't have sidestep or anything, so he probably doesn't need to go up on the ball. Is, but, you know, strength five on the ball on its own is pretty good. <laughs> now he's just going to move in on him there. This is, this is definitely not what any of us were expecting out of Jim in this game, I don't think. I think uh, all, all came to the LOS, maybe, you know, Jimmy yeah. said, okay, I'm going to check the LOS hits. If I lose three players, run away. Yep. If I don't, I just go balls. Uh... Absolutely. And there it is. There's the sidestep <coughs> uh, diving tackler on the ball. Game over. Now comes the, can I do anything with my layman with the job? No. <laughs> <laughs> Thud. So did you did you play you played Crucifer last round, right? This uh this seems <laughs> eerily familiar for you. <laughs> so Jim Jim was um Jim was nurturing all of our oh, look at that, that's amazing. A certain dominance with a one D. Yeah. Images here on the in another tackler. You need to get up the player there and maybe Ah, okay. Thing is, Jimmy has so much guard too that it's uh, difficult for the Chorps, you know, to find. Uh... Yeah, it's really interesting because you have to play against Jim like you're playing both elves and dwarves at the same time. <laughs> so they can make it really hard to. I mean, Christopher's got the team that can do it, but they can make it really hard to get those 2D blocks with all that guard and the strength five mighty blower. <laughs> and uh... oh, look at that dodge! That's a really nice yeah. dodge there. The Cutting dice off. are uh, coming in God mode dice for uh, Jimmy. Oh. If this works, that will be just, Jim. just toxicity. Who is at the wheels here? Holy shit. He's rerolling it, yeah, too. Yep, we, 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 Cut yeah. off all the chorps. He did it. <laughs> what a oh. play. Oh. Jim is just balls to the wall here. Welcome to High Rolling Town. Population 1 Jimmy Fantastic. Oh, I wish if he's moving up to base that 
that dirty player. He's going to really wish that Rackler was over one more, I think. Can't keep a screen there. I think he needs to keep uh, that uh, wrestle around the area to uh, avoid the chorves. I agree. Moving. Keep them cut off from the team. This is amazing. Jim has spent the last week waxing lyrical about how he's going to dacker the whole game. And as yeah. soon as the game starts, he's like, watch this shit, boys. This is amazing. I, I honestly, I think I think Famir called it, though. I think he saw three elves survive the LOS and said, ah, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going in. Yeah. Like, he already bought himself a free turn. And then I, I didn't expect this heavy basing out of him. But he's doing a really good job leveraging his guard in a way that, I, you know, I, like like – a player that you know isn't maybe Cru Crucifer's caliber would just be completely wiped by now. Crucifer's got a lot of options to fight back, and this could turn on a dime at any moment. But it's really exciting play early on. Yes, and now Crucifer, the gears are moving on his head, deciding what to do, which side to go. Well, it's pretty simple for Crucifer right now. He needs to get some removals. He has to yes. start removing elves. If he doesn't remove elves this turn. He's in a world of trouble. Yes, and uh, Jimmy's in the situation that now is very good, but uh, Jimmy's uh, one in 36 chances of uh, getting uh, eradicated. If he, you know, snakes a dodge or something like that, yeah. it's like, a turnover is very, very bad. You know, when you know it's bad when Crucifer's searching for 2Ds here, because what he's yeah. doing is he's looking for a 2D option, and Jim's really, really done well to eliminate a lot of options here. And that's kind the of follow Kind of following what you said earlier, Calcium, too, like, yeah, Christopher really needs to start removing elves, and that's kind of where this blitz is coming from, you think. But, like, the ball's under duress here, and it's a lot harder to remove elves when you also have to protect the ball under that much duress compared to, like, yeah. in a cage, yeah. you know, in an X cage where you can just tee off. And there's an armor break. And once again, just the stuff. Oh, no, KO, excuse me. So first elf goes off the pitch. All right, it's a good wrestler. We'll record the winner. It's time of three. I think uh, Crucifer could risk the handoff to the dirty player and uh, catch somewhere else, but where? Can't see, you know. <clears throat> no, he's got, yeah, he's got a. He can drop back in the cage quickly. Yeah. He, well, you know, if he fails the handoff, he's screwed. Yeah. But what he can do here is he can drop back into this cage that he's formed. And, you know, again, I think that's the quality of Crucifer here. Doing the two dive versus the diving tackle with side step, you know, no, if you no. don't get him down, he enters the cage, bases the Euro, the, your three hobos, risky business, oh, and this is oh, what's going to happen. Fishing for a pal. <coughs> oh, and beautiful, beautiful yeah. little circle Ooh, round. He's right yeah. on so it. Good. Oh, now he's got to hand that ball off, doesn't he? And that makes the hand off. Oh, you have to the hand off. And there's an Edge 5 just sitting there waiting, waiting for that hand off. Edge 5, wrestle, dodge, lino that can easily get round the back. Uh, no, yeah, he couldn't get one, Phineas. That, the, the curse of high elves is uh, they get pretty high TV pretty quickly. And while it, sometimes you look at a chorf team with this many skills, you don't expect the elves to be even with them. They basically were. Yeah, but when it comes to high TV, high elves are probably the, the one with the most tools at high TV because there is so many players that do stuff. You know, many goodies and having, you know, two awesome uh, war dancers, ca catchers, and that's it. That's the whole team. You know, even a high TV, there is like, uh, you know, but high elves have a lot of tools. And you can see here, you know, the, the team is very well developed. There are skills all over the, the table, wrestle, tackle, strength fight. God damn, that was a long few seconds, wasn't it? We were all collectively <laughs> holding up. <laughs> sure <laughs> were. It's just funny because, like, this game could be really exciting if Jim's team doesn't get deleted and and and, and Christopher could still win it were that the case. But, uh, you know, so you, you really don't want this to just come down to deleting elves now because Jim's playing just absolutely 
counter to expectations in, in kind of the best kind of way. This really could be something to watch. Yeah. See how long the, the armor holds up, though, because it, the, the, it's not going to hold all game. Like, there's no way. I think we need to acknowledge as well, though, that was the kind of recovery we'd expect from Crucifer. It was a really yeah. good recovery in the face of insane amounts of pressure. Yeah, absolutely. Not many coaches would have recovered as well, for no. sure. Uh, Steve Motti, I think a chain push may be quite difficult on the basis that most of Crucifer's team is stand firm. <laughs> uh, so there is already uh, the guard the side stepper inside the cage. The problem is... <laughs> the problem is it's on red. I mean, the wrestler is in front of the uh, short without the Sanfer, one of the bombers. Okay, that's not too bad, is it? Because uh, Chorf being wrestled to the floor, um, you know, he'll recover, but he ain't going anywhere. So Jim, Jim yeah. won't hate that. It's hard to uh, hard to make out the left side of this cage with all those fucking skills. Yeah. <laughs> there was uh, maybe a chance. There was get up the guard, they say oh. the stepper, one dies with the wrestler, that short, yeah. and then you have a square, but I don't He's know if... The... Oh, wait, he followed. So he didn't open. I thought he opened up a hit on the ball there, but he didn't follow. Does it have yeah, to stand firm? Yeah, it, it seems like Jim is just uh, content right now to make Crucifer solve all these problems. Yeah, he's coming back here, so he can't just flood out to the uh, the left or to or to the right so easily. And he's gonna stand him up, I assume, and oh, is one D blitzing. The moment for red die. Not a bad I mean, red die on the ball there. Not, I, I, mean, don't, I don't hate this uphill. I don't hate it at all. I, I don't know that wrestle, he's going to He has it. wrestle, so it's a good chances. Jimmy has rolls. Yeah. I prefer it, the 2D uphill on the hobo as opposed to the 1D on the chorf. Yeah, you've already got the sidestep uh, diving tackle on the ball there, but having another sidestep on the ball with a square to go into is pretty nice. Because the, if side, you could, the mm, diving sorry. tackler can't can't stay on the ball currently yeah sorry Skuro. if you can push that hobo back and push the yeah. sidestep diving tackle away from that chorf tackle zone that's even better isn't it that's forcing yeah, absolutely. the absolutely yeah and then and then neither of the sidesteppers can immediately be pushed off the ball yeah it is pretty good but it is a risk and wouldn't it be a double skulls into death here that we all saw coming no nope. there you go there we Boom. go Boom. Boom. there we go <clears throat> Wrestle ball on the floor. <laughs> Where's that ball going? Oh, oh right into the straight oh, box oh, here! Oh, oh, oh. Unbelievable! There you go. Back in the plan. There. What, what a game. Plan. What a game. What is she, Jimmy? <laughs> yeah, it's the house nice and and activated. Unbelievable. <laughs> I don't know about you, Scooby, right? but we, if we was in a pub right now, I would not want to spill a pint on this Jimmy Fantastic because he'd rip your head off. <laughs> I guess I don't know what that means, but okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, English uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in that. <laughs> he wouldn't a in Boston that if I spilled a pint on, Jimmy. wouldn't fucking murder me. So. <laughs> Now the thing is, yes, there is a kid with the bulls on the strength five, but there is a lot of guard uh, around the strength five. There is at least one elf that I can see with guard yeah. next to it. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Amazing. Jim's just twisting the knife with his comments now, and he Crucifer's yeah. under real pressure right now. Jim's, uh, Jim's using a little bit of gamesmanship here. Crucifer is absolutely immune to any kind of uh, chat talk or anything like that, so he knows uh, very well Jimmy. The... So he'll take it uh, as a champ. Do you know what? Crucifer may be the Ivan Drago of Blood Bowl right now, 
but Jimmy is the Rocky Balboa, and it's round four, round four, and Ivan Drago is bleeding. He is just a man. But I mean, well, maybe the Ivan Drago because he's the man to beat. But he's one of the nicest guys that play blood ball. Oh, don't don't kill my, you know. I thought that was quite a good pop culture reference there. <laughs> Ah, uh, don't wish on the dead of the strength five. There is an apple. <clears throat> oh, this feels risky. One year five, but uh, you need that to get the two dice. Yeah. Got them now. You can't see anything. It's like uh, bodies on the floor, icons. <laughs> Recovery, ball recovery is a thing here, isn't it? He has the hobo on the floor to recover the ball. We're just crossing our fingers for the strength five for a moment. He's good. Oh, nice scatter for no Cruz. Tack, yeah, no tackle zones. Wait, there were any chance of tackle zones near the ball? There's no else uh, up. Well, no, if the, ball had scattered, if the ball had scattered to the left, then, you know, this hobo standing up for free, it would have been significantly more difficult, wouldn't it? Um, survive, yeah. Muppet, survive. We're in for Jim here. Come on. Yes, but th that ball is not going to be saved. That's a good point, Fame. Um, where does he go? Does he risk a handoff to a ball centaur? <laughs> Jimmy has to cancel it. <laughs> and also, the, uh, the sure hands is stunned. So, yeah. uh, this is going to have to be... Uh, it's going to have to be the, yeah, the wrestler again, not the guy you want holding the ball. Um, Mengel, yeah, hand off to the Agi ball, but I don't think he can work his way to the Agi ball. So we could even be looking at a cheeky pass to the Agi ball. Surely Crucifer wouldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> full potato, and that doesn't seem like him. Now Next he can chain, chain the, the ball up on the ball. ball, on the ball. Yeah, he's, he's worked. Left. Look at that. Oh, and there it is. The armor finally breaking. How bad. Jim's just going to eat that one. Yes, because he's a guard, all right, but has dodge, which is usually the game. Oh, you know, the, one of the top pieces he went to save. And Jimmy putting a lot of pieces on the line of fire here. Yeah, huge pickup for Cruz there. Badge 5 just standing by watching. Can't do anything about it. I don't like this. I think mm. surely there's there, there's a two D option here. Well, Jim can definitely can definitely find a way because that 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 one guard chorf or chorf doesn't have stand firm, so he can probably block his way up onto the ball. But I don't. Two D might be asking a lot. So he's got guard. He can drop a guard in there. Yeah. So he can make it, certainly make it a 1D, no, no, but what about his strength it, 5? His strength 5 can straight no, 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 to Or he can just, yeah, yeah, yeah. just hit him with the strength 5 player. <laughs> yeah. Or That's he can it. just do that. 3 plus, Three plus 2 plus. plus. <laughs> the hell are you talking about putting guard or all that? <laughs> yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's got to make a 3 roll. plus is the problem. He's yeah. Instant roll. Oh, it's still on. Boom. And the pow. Where's this ball going? Oh God, he doesn't want. Oh, he is gonna follow into that scrum, huh? Uh, look at that! No, uh, five. Edge five. Edge five comes. Edge five right there. I think we're gonna see uh, T A Y T O here with the edge five. Can he screen for him at all, or get anyone up to protect him? Yeah, just get away from that. The rest just of the team, I think. That, yeah. yeah, I think that's the best option. He can get a little bit of a screen with some dodging down down below there, yeah. And he can base that he can base that claw palmer up top. Yeah. I think Jim's just wondering whether he can activate players right now. He's probably gonna dodge out with that blodge step to try and shut down that bull centaur at the end of the turn. Um so other than standing up the blodge tackle, I think picking up the ball and running like fuck is probably the best option. 
I mean, the better option, if he could find a way, is to pick up that ball and get it to the edge five without activating the edge five. But I think he really needs to use the edge five for the pickup here just to yeah, negate any yeah. chances. But, but, like, oh, man, if he could pick it up with someone else and just hand, and toss it over to the edge five, he's gone. <laughs> that would be super rowdy, wouldn't it? Um, we, oh, yeah, seen, too rowdy. Yeah, yeah we, we've uh, seen uh, rowdy, Jim, uh, you know, but yeah. that would be insane. Yeah, this is the right way. Two plus, two plus to be free, and he is. And now he's just got to get as much protection around the other side as he possibly can. That was the option. Uh, hit with a guard on the Stanfin Chorf next to it, to dice. You get the pow, the wrestle uh, Dodger uh, is free. So that one could have been the one going to pick up the ball and make the pass. But uh, yeah. The, yeah, I think I, I think it was too difficult. Now he's wondering whether we can get one of those linos in the way of that mighty blow yeah. ball centaur. Yeah, that bull is the biggest threat right now to the ball. Yeah. One dodge. Nice. Yeah. He's almost got a screen nice. up here. I see that now he has the blitzer that if this works. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> is this peak Jimmy right now? Is this, this the is, best we've ever seen Jim play? This is some of the best Blood Bowl I've ever seen Jimmy play. I'm not even, not even going to lie. Not yeah. even a little bit. Yeah. It's not even close, is it? It's not even close right now, boys. I'm sure he's had some amazing games similar to this, but this is something like. Also, you know, yeah, the good advantage that everything has worked. I mean, yeah, like, yeah, that's the other thing. Is like for the most part, everything's working for him. Now, yeah, yeah, you know, he, you know, he he had to use a couple re rolls here and there, but <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is what happens when you don't just remove elves when you're the kill team. Yeah. I've known Jim for 13 years and I've watched a lot of his games and this is up there. Yeah, no, it's really good, really good. Yeah, there was a uh, a long discussion about Jim uh, Jim's misgivings about trying to earn money off of uh, offering coaching uh, coaching and advice to people because he felt weird about it. But uh, maybe he came out of that being like, "Let me show them what I'm capable of when I go into this game this afternoon." <laughs> Good sales pitch for uh, getting coaching. This has been really impressive and a lot of fun to watch. I think on this first half alone, there'll be a long list of people going, "Yeah, do you know what, Jim?" Coach away. <laughs> I, I, I honestly don't know many coaches who could have, uh, you know, I mean, again, yeah, you know, it, it, it's easy to, it's easy to look good with a strength five mighty blow <laughs> elf catcher, but that, uh, yeah. that opening, that opening salvo by Jim was just awesome. <clears throat> like, it just really was. Oh yeah, we should be clear, right? At the end of the day, Jim has suffered minimal attrition. You know, on, on another game of Blood Bowl, um, Crucifer wipes out the LOS, turn one. You know, manages to tag another couple of players because Jim was aggressive. Jim was relying on there being a lack of attrition. But, yeah, you know, let's, let's not detract from the fact that Jim's done nothing wrong. In fact, he's done everything right. Good by Crucifer. He's going to change the ball uh, very close to the ball. He can move one of the hobos next to the strength five. Hit the, with the guard the wrestler, push. And that's two rolls for the. You know, the, the square next to the strength five. Oh, okay, he's going for that. So, guys, realistically, Crucifer cannot get to the ball carrier now. Jim's going one up. 
late in this first half at the very least. Would you think, fuck it, and target that strength five? I wasn't listening to the question. I was hitting on Jack. Well, sorry. I will see about the... <laughs> Basically, screw. I just said, now that Crucifer can't stop the score, um, would you be thinking, right, time to kill this strength five and break Jim's heart? Yes. <laughs> I, I, think... I think he's going to break tackle with the ball to hit the diving tackle and he gets the... I know, he's going with the piling on, yes, and then he can just uh, break tackle and base the ball. I, well, I, I think yes, if it was two turns later. I think Crucifer still wants to leave himself, a, you know, a two-turn chance to save to save this so he's gonna pressure he's gonna pressure jim try and get him to score while removing elves i think if it was two turns later that that everything would be going into that edge or that strength five yeah again it's easy for us to um you know stroke jim's cock in this game but crucifer's not the type of guy to lose his mind or his shape after Certainly a few not. turns yeah. of uh, adversity, is he? So, no. <laughs> yeah, there were options there, you know, to base the ball or something like that, but yeah, the, the bull. I remember that the bull, uh, there is an IG3 and an IG1. The one closest to the ball was the IG1. Yeah, um, dog to the dog, there's absolutely a stall on here. Jim does have, normally, Jim does have less patience for risk in stalling, though. Uh, I think I think in this game he's definitely going to milk another turn or two because at minimum he doesn't want to take LOS hits again if he can help it. <clears throat> yeah, so if Jim can get um, Crucifer to turn six, then that's huge, isn't it? Three turns for Chorfs is not easy against a full strength high elf team. Is he caging up on the left? Or, or, or screening on the, on the left. left. He's, going to, yeah, he's going to run uh, to the left. Yeah, it looks like it. Wow, he's, he, this is just a different game for Jim. Nine times out of ten in a Jim game, when he's trying to blitz off a, a stand firm, it's a push. Yeah. <laughs> the other one is uh, double skull. <laughs> oh, he's going to toss it. He's going to toss it to the strength five. Yep. Oh. No, he's not. <laughs> there goes the reroll. There goes oh, the reroll. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Not like this. Oh, oh, the game. Oh, well, it's not over yet, but that's that's not going to help things. Equity shift. It would have been better just GFI, GFI handing it off, I guess, because if he fell in the GFI, it was around more elves. No, yeah, but, uh, being there, being there, uh, at least acts a little uh, extra screen. I know, yeah, 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 that's definitely what he's thinking about. And yeah. end of the day, it's a two plus two plus. So, so Jim was destined to fail his next action, but that still feels like a little bit of a mistake <laughs> for me. Ball in hand, you know, he had screen options on the right. Um, in hindsight, it's easy to say, isn't it? But. I don't know. I think anyone, I think any one of us to basically get that ball in the hands of the, in in the hands of a fully screened or almost fully screened uh, strength five, elf catcher would have taken a uh, a one in thirty six chance there. Yeah, yeah. It, it was you know what whichever way you cut it, Jim's just been undone by nothing, nothing else really. Wow. Not undone yet. There's still some time here, but. It, it's, yeah. Every turn that goes by becomes pre increasingly difficult for Crucifer to score at all, which would still be a huge win for Jim. Yes, yes, Jimmy doesn't need to score. He mainly needs to stop Crucifer <laughs> from scoring. Jim, shut up and play. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, let's. Let, so, yeah, um, Femi, you're right. It's turn six. Crucifer's deep in his own half. 
He is not getting forward significantly on this turn. He's literally got to recover the ball and protect it. Otherwise, Jim will be all over him. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the reason of the yeah. DFI because you don't rub armor in a failure path. <clears throat> so, glass half full. Famous leading the way. Instead of me and Skuro being all doomsay, you know. Yeah, I, I wasn't to... being doomsay. I, I said there was a lot of time left. Yeah, I, I know. I'm, I was just, you know. <laughs> you just target. trying to lump me in with your mistakes. Yeah, just trying to create a bit of drama, you know. <laughs> bit of, bit of needle. <laughs> okay, let's say, you know. Oh! Oh! Last reroll for Chris, is that right? No. Yeah. Nope, one left. You know, you score and you left uh, Crucifer with four turns to score. You are getting LOS hit. Who's out for the handoff? Yes, he has to. <clears throat> You're going to get the LOS hits, blitzes, and probably a better score by Crucifer. So you go to the second half, 1-1, one, one, and probably with many less players. Oh, oh <laughs> and now it... Well... Now this is looking. Now this is looking a bit grim here. Well, Shattered Dice, you say it was greedy, but I think, I think he. Oh, no, that is insane! What was he doing? Not moving the ball carrier first. Yeah, that's weird. That's real weird. That is insane. <laughs> Just That's can automatically 2D a fucking bull with the ball. You gotta love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Oh, wow. That, that is a huge mistake. The biggest mistake I've seen Crucifer make. Yeah, in a I don't, long, I don't long really time. get that. Uh, here comes I think maybe he thought he could still have, uh, he still have the rerolls. Ball on the ground again. Or he didn't see the dodge because there's like 8 million icons on the screen. No, no, I tell you what, he did see the dodge. I just think he was just pushing his luck. Yeah, I think so too. He might, I think he's a little rattled <clears throat> by this. I mean, yeah, yeah. Who, who wouldn't be, to be honest? But you know what, Jim's saying right now, um, Skur and Faye Mary saying, thank you very much, Crucifer. <laughs> Is Jim thinking about maybe just scoring here? Now he's going to, because he can just put an elf in the end zone and lob it to him. Yep. I think he's thinking about that. He missed it. He missed it clearly. I mean, I've seen a Crucifer play ages ages in the morning and that's the kind of thing that the the concept of crucifer pushing his luck is like it doesn't compute <laughs> doesn't do you know compute. what Skuro? i love putting a catcher in the end zone right now and just going for the pass i think I, he was looking at the, he was looking at the squares i mean it's an yeah. option it's an <clears> option <throat> you know after after you know, after failing that pass and not and, and kind of being on your own heels if you're trying to stall here, he he got a whiff of of how this game can just turn over against him. So yeah. Maybe he does just do it, but again, you know, if you fail something, your elf is going out the back of the end zone. So. Actually, I've changed my mind. Ball in hand here, yeah. on a block step, uh, so you can sidestep in whatever direction yeah. you like. This is actually a much better option, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you can, you can screen them pretty well, too. Work. The yeah. past thing didn't work, so let's forget about the past thing. We told you that before. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as a commentator, yeah. we just throw options out there. They're not always the right ones. <laughs> well. Again, that was bound to happen at some point. <laughs> yeah. Probably not one or another. For sure. Yeah. But now, 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 I mean, Jim, if he if he can stall next turn, depending on what goes wrong here uh, for Cruz, if anything, uh, then he should stall so he can save himself the uh, the you know the the yeah. LOS hits Cruz one last better. time. But any time he can put it in, he's just gonna want to take it. Crucifer now can't score. Oh, no, the, wait, there is a hobo there. Oh, the dirty player hobo. Oh, my God, <laughs> we forgot about him. No, 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 We, I, I knew the scoring threat hobo was there. Um, and you mention it now? Well, I thought it was fucking obvious, you know, just... <laughs> oh, 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 come in here to light to my face, who you there? <laughs> Oh, 
I tell you what, Crucifer's armor rolls have been absolute trash this game, haven't they, so far? And I realize that might just be kiss a deafing Jim right now, but holy cow, they've been bad. <clears throat> this has been, uh, Boomer, this has been an amazing half of Blood Bowl. It Absolutely really has. Coordinate. Absolutely, Corn Knight. I agree with you on that one. That that hobble is all good and well down there, and obviously Jim's got to be aware of it, but it's a long way to get the ball. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Jim can get a little penned in here. Double GFI to lock that sidestepper down, though. So because of that, now Jim's now Jim uh, probably doesn't have to. Well, probably doesn't have to worry about that score threat and can use his blitz to ensure that he scores. Uh, yeah. I, th I think if uh, you know if that ball was kind of jarred loose again or, or something was going on, obviously that changes things. And the most important thing is stopping the score at all. Yeah. Now that Crucifer burnt his last reroll, uh, Jim will feel a lot better about not dealing with that scoring threat. But I think you're right. Two big GFIs here. Makes them both. But neither of those chorfs are stand firm. I don't see a way where Jim can chain here or... Oh, no score threat at all. Oh, it's a oh, gym. the gym oh, foul! Oh, you called the start of the game, game boys. <laughs> yeah, nice call by Calcium on that one. <laughs> Jim Ooh. using the reverse gym foul to full effect. Would you have uh, did that foul, uh, Calcium? If there's one thing in Blood Bowl that's a constant, it's I foul things. And I know what I'm talking about when it comes to Jim Fowles as well, so. Yeah, Artemis, um, fouling there was an interesting choice. And when we say interesting, probably the wrong choice. Well, it's certainly, it's certainly the wrong choice, <laughs> the way it worked out. Yeah, it feels really wrong right now, no doubt. But yeah, I'm, I, I don't think it was the great choice. Yeah, the only thing Jim's really got to be aware of here is that if he does fail to score, it's not the end of the world, but he wants to make sure that Calcium doesn't get to tee off on Elves. And you can see, yeah, he, he cares more about getting that uh, that Strength 5 to safety. Yeah. Is he going to try and... No, you you just go, you just put that strength five into safety, and then you go for the straight three plus two plus, don't yeah, you? Yeah, that, that that's what I was thinking he was doing, but he's yeah. looking like he wants to. Like, there's no score threat, so I don't know what he what he thinks about defending if anything happens with the ball anyway. You yeah, know? but boys, this is a whole new gym. This game, this is ultra aggressive. You spilt my pint. I'm not your mate, mate, Jim. This is yeah. full aggro. Let, let's wait. Let's wait until after the the half ends, just because you know the you know the turn eight parting shot is going to be heartbreaking. Yeah. Oh, I makes the first one. But oh, I forgot. Jim actually has another turn, so Christopher can't score, but can cover the ball a little bit. Yeah. So I think that's probably what Jimmy was thinking. I was thinking that it was Christopher's turn, and then the turn, and then the half was over, but. Yeah, Jim. Jim was looking at ways to ha be ready for one last chance to score. So I can't talk for Famer because Famer has been pretty accurate and called it right as usual. But Skuro, I can't help but think that we are playing checkers here when Jim's playing chess. He is now. What he's done here is he's baited with the strength five. Um, he's got the Agi loitering. I really like what he's done here. I think uh, I think by uh, us playing checkers, you mean we're sitting at the board eating paste. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. 
And Jim does have a babe for those two KOs that could really be become relevant uh, going into yeah. the second half. And now uh, Jimmy has uh, another uh, option if this fails for the case. Looking unlikely that Jim will get that that glorious score, which could have basically put the game away. Another key. <laughs> Fair enough, Tony. I'm going to regret making that analogy, and I. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, Edge Five. Risky, risky one. Oh, oh no! Medic. This is what we were talking about with parting shots. Ooh, badly Oof. hurt. Does he do it? Oof. Surely you need. To. Surely, yeah. yes. You have to. Yep. He's got to win. The, he's got to win the game first and foremost. Obviously, you want that apo just for the for the strength five because if he dies and you win, who the fuck cares about this team? <laughs> That's but, it, isn't it? No, not not happening. And that's it, and Jimmy saves right. the first half. Magnus that that, that is still higher. an absolute win for Jim for the half, yes. but boy, does it sting to not score there. Yes. He did everything in his power. Uh, Jimmy gets all the KO rolls. Jim was all literally it. a two plus from glory on two occasions. And Nuffle said no twice. Yes, nothing to say. I gave you now. I gave you now. You're asking. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. Here. And you're absolutely right, Famer. On balance, Jim's dice were pretty friggin' amazing that half as well. So <laughs> yeah. let, let's not, you know, Jim. I, I I hope Jim's not feeling too hard done by right now because that was still no, a no, beautiful it was half of Blood Bowl. Absolutely win, and also uh, I think. Uh, Crucifer only made one mistake, but it was a massive one. Not seeing the fact that he had the dodge there, not seeing that, that was brutal. So PKS, uh, we has said Willie Dacker, and I responded, yeah, does a bear shit in the woods. Um, I think we are going to unleash the Dacker right now. I think uh, moving a little back is an option, but... Bulls are fast. Oh, here we go. You know, Agi I, five in play. Strength Jim, five in play. Jim doesn't love the DACA against good players sometimes. I, I think he's going to here. I mean, that's the team name, but, uh, you know, decking against Cruz is a lot different than decking against, say, like, I don't know, Flicky. Or me, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's weird. I was going to go with you, but I saw Flicky and saw me yeah, briefly. I, I, can, I can take that. I can take that. <laughs> yeah, we know Flicky can't, so. <laughs> yes, this is clearly a, a Jimmy sending the message that I'm going to that guy. Exactly, you have, you know, a powerhouse like the Strength 5 uh, catcher. Good elf, uh, high elf catchers become so good once they get the skills that move in a Strength 3. And yes, high elf is one of my favorite races because the first one I picked when I started playing Blood Bowl in the night and became 29 year old. It's also amazing how good high elf catchers become if they roll double strength up. Yes, they see, and, and then add another <laughs> double for the mighty blow. So, I think something if you're Crucifer right now, if you're Crucifer right now, wait, 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 wait. how are you feeling? Wait, wait, wait. Why is Jimmy not pressing? Uh, what happened here? Jimmy hasn't pressed confirm setup. Probably ran off to take a leak. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Clock stalling. Bit more gamesmanship. Just making Crucifer drink that last half of Blood Bowl in. He has a cat and a girl, and I'm pretty sure he's fine. <laughs> uh, what is 
the strength uh, five? Is it not? Yeah, that, that's a great the, question. Yeah, it's at the back. It's at the back. It's at the back. Oh, is he way back? Yeah, he must. He's way back. He's way back. He's way back. I was thinking this was a defensive setup for a second. <laughs> oh, this wouldn't be a classic. Oops, I've left him in the dugout. <laughs> this could be perfect. That would be for, for getting to press person up, go to grab a team. That would be Jimmy really asserting dominance. I don't even need my strength five. Why risk him? <laughs> All I gotta do is score an eight, and you're fucked. Oh god, oh, really? it took me longer than I meant to to have a wee then, but uh. Oh man, that store was disappointing, right? Because I had the dodge out with the strength five that if I use the re-roll on, I score. Yeah. Then I had the blitz with a catcher that if I don't pow, I score. <laughs> so like, those two things work that made me think, well, it's only one in 36 really fucks me, and then there you go. Jim, it was an exceptional half of Blood Bowl for you. That was incredible stuff. <laughs> it should You, you really deserved the touchdown out of all that, but it you was did, really, yeah. really well done. And that's, really good. Uh, was really good. that's saying that's something like you had some luck too yeah you know especially <laughs> off the los but it it was impressive now close this out and win Thanks. yeah on that note shut the fuck up <laughs> concentrate on this game do one and let us do our jobs exactly jimmy get all the good rolls in the tournament without prize money Jim did guarantee a victory in this game via my uh, my speaking on his behalf, which I am uh, allowed to do. So uh, guaranteed victory coming here, not even throwing an LOS block, just dodging oh, no. away and yes, daka, right. daka, 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 live by the daka, die by the daka. Asserting a bit of dominance there with the daka. Give uh, the ball to the strength five and that's it. <laughs> that's the thing we have in strength five ball carriers. This might officially be the only time I've ever liked a Dakar in my Blood Bowl life. I just want to say, Calcium, um, really impressed with your neutrality as a commentator here. You've gotten through half this game and haven't once complained about elves. No, and do you know what? Again, this may well be the first time I've actually liked an elf coach. <laughs> for the yeah. first time in my blood bowl career, <laughs> I, I was I was assuming I was assuming you were okay with it because one of the elves was strength five and had mighty blow, so so you're like ah oh, yeah this, these elves get a pass. Yeah, they have, the, a, big, they have a big guy. Yeah, calling Jim a shithead elf coach. I don't want to get banned by Jim, so you know I've been banned by everyone else, but not Jim. Also, it's been an hour and uh, fifteen minutes without any mention of uh, other competitions. Oh uh, uh, no. I was I was uh, I was waiting till the right moment to really uh, stick the knife in calcium on that one. But thanks for stealing my thunder, Fabian. <laughs> I was going to say the blitz speed yesterday, but uh, what were, which one were you thinking? <laughs> oh, <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> let's not worry about it. I know, I know. This is the problem with the Dakas. The, the, the first half was so exceptional. Second half is just going to be this bullshit for five turns. In fact, I'm going to the loop. I think Jim's making a bit of a mistake here. He should have obviously let the clock count down to about 20 seconds before moving his team. Another sublime term there, a turn there by Jim. <laughs> He's got one more in it before uh, anything happens. <laughs> yeah, before things get interesting. Uh, Crucifer's just realized that he can't get two chorfs in the front there, so he's going to have to drop another ball centaur in front. There you go. Guys, 
carrying on the strength five it seems like an obvious choice. But what you can't no, do can't on that hit. strength yeah. five now yeah. is he can't hit. He can't yeah. employ his mighty blow. So uh, he's looking at it. He's looking at doing everything off this guy. Yep. Oh, that's he's gonna hit. <laughs> what are we doing? Fucking. I would like. I like to imagine that uh, Jim just shouted, "Fuck that's you, a calcium." Cash. That's a cash yeah. guaranteed. Yeah. That's guaranteed. Yeah. Are you call it, call it again. Look at that. No, call again, it, another it. another English analogy. If we was in a pub right now, and I said that to Jim, Jim would be like, "Calcium, hold my pint." <laughs> No, that he would punch him while well, holding the pint, you know? <laughs> Everybody knows that covering the ball has an extra mighty blow level. Actually, yeah, you are right, Fabio. Jim's playing so well right now, he could <laughs> knock out that ball centaur while holding the pint. <laughs> Again, I want Balancing to say that the pint on his fucking fully erect penis. It's <laughs> recorded, it's recorded that, that, that say that it was a cast guarantee. <laughs> oh, that was something. And, uh, yeah, obviously the apple on the badly hurt means that bull can come back, but unlikely going to get a chance to bring that bull back into this game if it plays out in any way, shape, or form the way Jimmy wants it to. Like a game of Red you Rover saying... right now. <laughs> hey, development, I remember that photo. <laughs> I would uh, I would have maybe thought the uh, sure hands block and the uh, wrestle frenzy would have been swapped there so that the the wrestle frenzy was more of the quote unquote safety on the team because uh, he's gonna have more of a chance of dragging someone down on reds than yeah yeah than the the block sure hands is that ball central removal is so brutal for oh it's incre it? uh, absolutely <laughs> incredible. And pushes and it's like, it's like we're watching Jim play against Jim from a year ago. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Just loses his bull centaur and then his and then his other bull centaur comes back to answer with a push. Yeah, this has got to be a base. I agree, purple chest. Base with tackle and prey at this point. Yeah. Yeah. And that's exactly what the Daco wants, too. You know, obviously, anyone can roll poorly, but... <laughs> Trust, confirm. Yeah, with a ball carrier blitz, Mangle. I mean, the ball carrier is the only one who's going to fucking blitz, but... So, Jim's really a couple of two pluses or maybe a power away from solving this equation, isn't he? Uh, someone in chat explained that for Happy Chuckles because it's been explained on commentary far too many times that in the last is, uh, Never is mind, short... he's going to do it anyway. Yes. <laughs> that guy is a nickname that has this uh, tactic. Is based uh, when you're playing else on IG team to move back. So you deny the blocks uh, to your opponent. You keep your players more or less safe. And in the last uh, turn, you break away. Yeah, all Jim's got to do here is put uh, put this stand firm on his ass, and he does it the easy way. Doesn't even have to wrestle him down, and that is a hole for a lot of elves to flood through. Can he's I just say, he's pluses, another two though. plus two plus from glory. We've been here before. Yep. Now, the the most important one just went through. Yeah. But <laughs> there's a frenzier right there. Jim will, Jim will lock this down now, so he's away, isn't he? Yeah. Yep. Purple chest is, as usual, on point. That should be that indeed. Really excited. I mean, again, let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves until this uh, is officially a 1-0. <laughs> the game is over. No riots, no nothing. <laughs> but really excited to hear Jim talk about that first half and uh, what 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 changed in his mentality about the game or if he was just playing us all. 
Four re-rolls. Re-roll's going to come out here because uh, he's not playing for overtime. Oh, a couple of ones out in the end, though. Yes, he had the hit there, and they have the, the opening yeah. with the Blitzer. Yep. Yeah, Jim pointing it out there. Now, now Christopher is going to be able to get most of his team back to kind of harry the Elves, but the Elves are going to just outspeed them. There's only one player who can even consider keeping up, and uh, that's not going to be enough to take down that strength five ball catcher. Yeah. Furiously harry that strength five catcher. <laughs> but, I mean, hey, I mean, this is all Christopher has available to him. Yeah, He's got to do yeah. it, and we've seen that stuff end matches before, so... I don't. I don't actually think Crucifer's done much wrong this game, other than that hobo dodge, and you know not moving his ball yeah. centaur up because it looked bleak there, didn't it? When he handed off to that ball centaur, it looked bleak. It looked like Crucifer was going to score. Yes. Yeah, it would be interesting to. Yep, makes the dodge there, hitting the side stepper. Nope. Oh, he's got to do that. it. Yeah, no, he doesn't. He's hanging oh. on to his rerolls. Would be uh, interesting uh, to kind of go back and look at those first two turns by Crucifer. Did he, and maybe Jim can probably shed more light on that. Did we miss something there? Did, did he make a positional error that let Jim kind of flood in like that? Or did Jim just catch him with his pants down? You know, it, it, it's hard to say. Honestly, I don't think Crucifer was expecting that level of aggression from Jim. Sure. Absolutely. Um, but but so, what did Jim see that caused that? Was it just the LOS hits? Was he always planning to do that? Or did Crucifer give him an in that maybe Crucifer <laughs> shouldn't have given him that Jim said, you know what, here we go? Yeah, yeah. Although the, although the setup was really aggressive as well, wasn't it? In, in the face of a pretty terrifying chorf team. So, yeah, I, I want to say that Jim saw a weakness and has beautifully exploited it. Yeah, deep kick definitely helped things, Adev. I, I wouldn't say it was aggressive. It was just a rule of five setup, wasn't it? Yeah, but uh, close to the LOS and uh, with the movement eight players, it's always aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Wolf Bark, you're right. And hey, wh whatever we say about it and um, whatever Jim says about it, it's friggin' worked, isn't it? It's really good. Obviously, he's still got work to do here, so this is. A decent recovery from Crucifer, isn't it? You know, it's going to be... Jim's going to screen off now. Um, so it's going to be really difficult for Crucifer to stop Jim. But nonetheless... Yeah, I will say Crucifer's answer to that first turn by Jim was very good. Like, <laughs> you know, we don't... We certainly don't want to imply that, you know, that Crucifer just, like outplayed here i mean jim played incredibly crucifer still almost got away obviously had that one mistake whether it was a misclick or not um it was something <laughs> something was wrong there so that so that wrestle doesn't help jim at all jim's gonna have to gfi now isn't he to yeah pr properly protect that strength five protect the strength five what yeah i mean saying? yeah <laughs> most of the things that are coming up at the strength five jim doesn't really have to protect him from <laughs> just that other bull yeah neuro yeah you could be well you could well right you could well be right there Yeah, I think I think uh, a lot of these uh, suggestions are all kind of circling around the same point. You know, uh, <laughs> Jim knew that he was on a ticking time bomb of how long his team would be viable against Cruces. And, uh, yeah, might as well re-roll that. Yeah, too. there's a lot to be said for if you're going to go down, go down swinging. <laughs> yeah. Look at this, even even wrestling down a claw pommer. There we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
not many options. Uh, no, <laughs> not many options for here. Lucifer here. I think he's – is he just thinking about going in here or is he just going to hit this other side stepper and try and get in front of the ball again? Is this like one – Jim is just one turn away from just stabilizing down at the end of the field where Cruz can't do anything. Uh, game, game is not over until – <laughs> in, in, until it's over, there's still there's still going to be a one turn chance for Crucifer, which could be a riot. There's nothing to stop that uh, yeah. at the stage. So this game is not over until it is absolutely over because it's a one nothing game. Uh, if Jim puts this in, which it sure looks like he's going to, not scoring in the first half takes away the he can score at any time and it doesn't matter. And anyone that's watched Jim for. Uh... Uh, an extended length of time like we have um, is painfully aware that defeat can be snatched from the jaws of victory. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I was just thinking about that phrase myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a good phrase, isn't it? Such a good phrase. But not today. <laughs> yeah, dog. Pretty much. Harsh but true, Adon. Harsh but true. <laughs> oh, you know, I have a little insight as to Calcium's ability to lose a game. God. He absolutely should have won. Uh, FFS, <laughs> honestly, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't about us right now. This is about Team Fantastic. Just putting it out there. I thought, that, I thought that bull just failed his sure feed for a second and was going to gas himself. <laughs> that would have just been majestic. Yeah. Can uh, can the strength five uh, ball carrier kill a second bull? I think we're about to find out. Blitz and run, isn't it? Blitz and run. Thing yeah, absolutely. Two I mean, he's got stand firm, but you just dodge away if you fail. Yeah. The question is, what safe moves can you do first in the uh, inevitable uh, complete disaster option? I don't know that there is anything. It's all no reroll two pluses, isn't it? Um, both those high elves will be dodging out in due course. So I think you take the blitz first, don't you? Yeah, I think you do the blitz first, too, because you're rerolling anything that fails right now. Yeah. Yeah, now is the blitz time with the wall carrier. Well, that's a free commentary team consensus on what Jim should do. So it's probably <laughs> not what he should oh, do. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We got one. Woo. We're one for 10, guys. <laughs> down to. Doesn't get the uh, the armor break. Jim just uh, quickly doing the maths there, using all seven of his toes. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's only one, only one hoblin, hobgoblin that can really do anything about this right now. And. He's probably going to get put on or put on his ass or screened. Yeah. <laughs> Big boy dodge coming in. Yeah, needs some two pluses, Perivale, but even if he doesn't get the two pluses now, the best that bull centaur can do is base. There we go. Academic now. <clears throat> You take the three plus two plus here on that blood stepper. Put just was, drop it in front of the bull centaur. Yes. I was thinking that on the telly, that's not the stall square. The official is stall square. Did you just forget about this guy last turn? <laughs> yeah, I think he might have. <laughs> I think he's going to GFI with him. I thought he was going to GFI with him, you know, to base the. Yeah, I don't hate that either. Yep, if he gets him through and now he can uh, 3 plus 2 plus the other one out. Uh, even and if this that, fails, and, he's got block yeah. step driven tackle on that ball centaur, which is amazing, yeah. isn't it? There we go. Uh, Look at that. Yeah, I mean, this is this is, this is done. Yeah. This, this is done for the uh, offense. Again, we're not we're not exhaling until we don't see the blue the screen. Yeah, we know yeah, we yeah. know Christopher is perfectly capable of two turning with this chorp team. I, I was just gonna make a joke then. 
about Crucifer getting schooled, but yeah. Um, <laughs> the turn 16 can throw up some interesting... Yeah. And it is Crucifer we're talking about. It's not a mere mortal. But he has lost before. I can lose again. No, for sure. I mean, again, Jim, Jim, Jim put together something out of this team today and uh, definitely deserves a win here. Can't say Crucifer deserves to lose, but... It, it seems looks like he's about to. <laughs> Someone has to lose. <clears throat> yeah, that's Blood Bowl. You know, let, let's let's be clear. Crucifer's attrition dice, yeah, his bash dice have been absolute dog shit. And, you know, a, a, against any developed elf team, whether it be Word, High or Pro, if you do not remove them, you're in for a bad day. That being said, the way Jim played the first half specifically was amazing. Yeah, that you was know, really good. Um, Crucifer should have just, you know, it should have just been an eight turn drive, shouldn't it? And Jim stopped that. And he was really unlucky on two occasions not to turn Crucifer over entirely. So, yeah. although Crucifer's done nothing wrong, I, I do think Jim's been the better player here. Well, I mean, you know, it's also, it's one of those things that kind of showcases how these two teams play. Like... Yeah. You look at Jim playing this team excellently, and you really see the results of good strategy, positioning, and effort. Ultimately, and you know, this might piss off all the bash coaches out there. Cruz has got to roll two pluses and get removals. He's got to do more than that, obviously. Like he's a much better coach than just that. But like, you don't see it as much when the chores are being played as well because they're doing what you expect them to do. Yeah, I was also going to ask about the Dark Elves that got omitted from uh, Calcium, but nobody <laughs> seems to play them in Chalice, so whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, yeah, I did omit the Dark Elves tonight. Just to, uh, you know, show my extensive elf knowledge. So Jim will absolutely be stalling another turn here, won't he? Oh, for sure. For sure. Yes. Yeah, Crucifer, again, Crucifer doing all the right things. He's resisting the urge to just, you know, pray, you know, click and pray, which a lot of people, when they feel defeated in the game, end up doing. And, uh, yeah, Jim is going to have to roll some two pluses here to make sure that ball is completely yeah. locked down. But, you know. Does Jim switch to the right now? Blitz with the ball carrier through that hobo? You had me at through that hobo, even though that was the last <laughs> thing you said. Could be, or you can use the IG5 and the guard side stepper to do that without risking the ball carrier, but I think the ball that the... Sure Jim has hard. already proven his chops with regards to blitzing with that ball carrier. No fucks given. I mean, it's strength five Mati below, like... What a yeah. risk, eh? it's not like he's going red dice in every turn. This is not one of the chanters uh, rats. But you are right, you know, with with victory being so close, it might be doing weird things to Jim's, you know, in-game aggression. He might be thinking twice about that option right now. I think he's going to go right through that hobble too. Well, maybe not. So Jim's last action this turn will be to dodge the um, diving tackle blodge stepper out to try and get a single tackle zone on that ball centaur. I think, yes, he needs to get the someone tagging the, the bulls. Jim's just going to settle for a three-point cage here, isn't he? Which is fine. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Uh, gets the wrestler down. He's the biggest threat to a cage dive. Yeah, um... I, I, I actually, I, I take that back because even if he was wrestled down, it still negates him, doesn't it? Yeah. 
for the following turn. So actually, and, that was the right thing to do. And you free the the Blochester Bergal. Yeah, three point cage now, and it's pretty done, isn't it? Oh, there's a chance there to get the hit, but that could be a risky one. Stand firm. Yep. Can re-roll it if he wants to. He chooses not to, though. The re-roll is coming Now he's got to dodge, dodge him through. Yep, he's going to dodge him. Okay, oh, so that, yeah, that, dodges, yeah. that dodges made things a lot safer, but I really yeah. didn't like Jim taking that block on that stand firm. Now, if that dodge had failed, then he could have got that wrestler out of the way and got round the back with the ball centaur. And again, it would have probably, we're talking against the strength five, so it would have been a minus two D, yeah. but it would have still been I mean, he can still, uphill. he can still 1D. He can still 1D that, actually he can 2D that elf out now and still bring the bull around the back with yeah. a, uh, yeah. A, yeah. a four plus dodge. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm sorry, this diving tackle, yeah. Yeah, the diving tackle has yeah. really yeah, made that option that difficult, yeah. but... He's going for reds instead. Does he think he can get a short on him instead? What's he doing here? No, he's going to go for the big dodge, isn't he? He's going to go big for the dodge, big dodge. Yeah, I guess so. No, he's not. 1D. No, he's going to oh. 2D. He's going for the big dodge 1D. Oh, I tell yeah. you what, that... Jim will love to see that. Yeah. Oh, oh that's going to fail. Jim is definitely scoring now, folks. And it... Come down to a kickoff result wow. here. Yeah, I should I should have just caged there, shouldn't I? Whoopsie, and I could have still just won, indeed. <laughs> oh dear me. Well, we still got it. We still got to get through kicks, Jim, or one more kickoff. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. are you doing in it? Focus up. Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, well, the power's out of his hands at this point. Just yeah, make sure you get yeah. tackle on every square, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Tackle on every squad. <laughs> going for the only three SPP play. That's all right, I guess. Yeah, Riot is the only real chance, isn't it? Very unlikely to get a one turn with move seven, but there's a chance. Yeah, Wolf Bark and everybody else that has the little pink icon next to the name in chat, fucking traitors, saying, "Oh, look, get ready for the Riot." Yeah, we see you. All right, we see you. I mean, you got to prepare for this riot, though. Like, you, like yeah. you can't just back line and give him, you know, and and just give him the run up, which Jim obviously isn't doing here. I was gonna ask, do you put side steppers up? Uh, you didn't last time, and you regretted it. I felt. Some of us believed, train. Some of us believed. I think everyone in this booth right now, uh, only one of us predicted a hundred percent win rate for Jim here. Yeah, I did predict thirty percent to be fair, but that's right. good odds from in the calcium land. <laughs> <laughs> I give the thirty-two point seven, and was actually accurate at all level. You calculate all the rolls made and things like that uh, in the first half and all that. That was the thing. So you know the pink next to the name uh, predicted crucifer. Yes, predicted crucifer. <laughs> yeah, so so hang on a minute. So you're rooting for Jimmy to win because you predicted you gambled points on Crucifer to win. Oh I see. The reverse bet. Gotcha. Right. The classic Johnny Five is never right. Yeah, the name being straight out of Chalice was uh was fair oh, yeah, enough the name to, was, uh, to they cause a bit they... of confusion. <laughs> Yeah, oh, well. half the people that voted probably voted the wrong way there. But <laughs> fuck's you know. sake, put twenty fucking five k on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, this is pretty much how Brexit got voted for too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 it hurts. It hurts because it's true. <laughs> the X where? <laughs> oh, oh, I feel really silly now. Who gives a fuck? Go team fantastic, Jimmy, <laughs> fucking fantastic. Always believers, always believers, never in doubt, never in doubt. Oh, we got a lot to unpack yeah. after this game, but let's yeah. just make sure we don't get a riot here. <laughs>
I always believed. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. He is, setting up, he is setting up to try a one turn. Too. Wow, he is. Oh, yeah, I'm not actually stopping the one turn. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, no. I was just against the riot. Yeah. Oh, exactly yeah, that, that's you're... a gaping hole right there, isn't it? That's yeah. exactly how your English national team lost in World Cup qualifiers. Too soon, Skuro. Too soon. All right. <laughs> no, Oopsie. So it's so funny because it's through. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I should just backline there, shouldn't I? Shit. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, I should have yeah, gone one further back, more. and I should have backlined across here in case of the riot. Yeah. Well, this has yeah. turned into a, a twitchy bum scenario instead of a victory parade, isn't it? Yeah, I fucking shouldn't have put the head for set back on. I fucked myself. Oh god. Oh. This is what I was talking about. You gotta wait until we see the blue screen. I thought turn 15 was my worst, but it turns out. <laughs> Post turn, turn 16, 17 yeah, might turn be. 17 is my biggest one. Yeah, it's possible. It's edge three, but then again, he doesn't have to dodge, so it's like just made it easy. Like it's only hard because he's edge three, and now he's not edge three. Imagine if you had side steppers on the line too. Oof. Oof. Too soon, man. Too soon. Yeah, he's got sure feet for the GFIs. The the edge three is not a problem when you don't have to dodge. Oh god, what an idiot! At this oh. point, you might be might be rooting for a fucking riot. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, perfect oh defense, Dini. Oh. Perfect defense. We are counting the Yeah, perfect defense. Yeah. yeah. Perfect defense yeah. or bleed. Oh, what an <laughs> idiot! A perfect defense would be what an idiot. So unjustified. <laughs> I was thinking please this was. Me, please just me again. wrestles on manual right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, one further back and. Oh, and God. Perfect defense or bleed. Oh, the, the at least he only had one minute to sort out his. Uh, his uh, oh, wait, no. <laughs> oh, this is going to be. This is going to be a special. The, the most special gym throw of all time. It is, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It is a... Uh... Okay, okay. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Perfect defense. Oh, get, gets himself a reroll okay, if he needs it. Okay, that's a good kick. That's a good kick. And he, he's blitzing with a friend, wrestle with the frenzy, which I don't like. I would have rather done the last hits with a frenzy. So I already don't like the way he's done it, so that's good. Well, that's even better. That's, that's oh, perfect. There we go. Yeah, oh, thank game. God for that. Fuck's sake, Jim. Don't do that to us, all right? Yeah, wow, that was so bad. That was so bad. Holy shit, that was that was such a bad. <laughs> well, we were going to spend the next 10 minutes talking about how genius that first half looked from you. Uh, but you really kind of soured that one. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really pissing tried. To... all over our cornflakes. Yeah, I really tried to throw so, at the end. We, oh. really, we said a lot of nice things about your intelligence in the first half of this game. Oh, no, thanks. I, I just rerolled the two into a one. That sums up my usual victorious. dice. There were some good dice as and well. I will yeah. defend. There were, there were. I will defend. <sighs> thanks. Uh, four so, five levels up. Four armor breaks and most of them were uh, killing uh, wolves. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations from Deserve the guy to who lose knew Jim it was going to be a win from the get-go. Oh. I'm uh, happy to happy to see I didn't eat my words there. Oh, for once, <laughs> yes, that was all right. The, the school was right, you know. Wow, constant hang over a thousand bits. Thank you so much. Incredible. Thank you so much. Thanks, Trent. The <sighs> best thing about that is your Thanks team is in well. still really good shape. I was, you know, I, I knew, yeah. always knew you could win that game, but I was expecting you to come out with a significant limp. Um, and... <laughs> Jimmy, you sort of I'm offering it. free. You have How a full to stop a one turn attempt. Lessons a, if you need some advice. Nothing. That is no, no, damage. no, nothing. No is, damage at all. Yeah. <laughs> this, this asshole with move five is still your MVP. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Mario. Let's get a level, you know? Thanks, Art. Relax. <sighs> Man, that was. That was <laughs> That was so hard. Like, it was so scary as well. Because, like, yeah, there was the deep kick and then the no damage. And I'm like, I've got to go for it here. Yeah, I mean, I've just got to go no, straight for it. That was, that's what we wanted to hear. Yay, you for Jimmy, the best tic tac toe player, player on the it. playground. Like, we went, everyone went into that game assuming you basically weren't going to play Blood Bowl for 80% of the game. And then after that, that LOS, you just went right in at him. Yeah. And was it, was it because of the no damage there? Or did you kind of always think you might 
need to put him on his back foot? I was always going to. I was. I was always going to try and destabilize him if I had a chance. And the fact that there was no, there was like no removals, was there? There was like I think only a stun. A stun, on, just and a he stun and he piled as well, right? So he's placed his own guy prone and only made a stun, and the ball was super deep. So and if I'd piled yeah. that ball, it would have been incredible, right? Thank you very much, Weather Geek. Glorious. I'd just I'm say good. it was so aggressive. I was fully expecting you to be shirt cop during there, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> that's no, that, that is, that's the most aggressive I've seen you like play in a long time. Yeah, and I well, I mean, defend. I was aware I of like defend. how kind of desperate, desperate the situation was, right? That that was the thing. It's like I was on a clock, wasn't I? He was the one with the uh, with the inevitability, if you like. And and you know, thank you very much, Belly. <laughs> yep. If I if I just played passively or like half-hearted pressure, it's easy for me to just start banging me out. Woohoo, isn't it? Jimmy and his big yeah, end getting the, the W. Balls deep, <laughs> one way or the other. Yeah, like that was the thing. It was going to be super easy for him to just get like just just one or two hits, and then he's got like more guard than me. As as insane amount of guard for an L team this is, he's got more guard, and he can you know he got two D on the strength five a few times. He can easily start putting out mighty blow hits, pylon hits, and and he can easily start banging me out. So I I didn't want like a protracted drive. I didn't want to trade a mighty blow blitz on armor nine thick skull for a a claw bomb hit. Do you know what I mean? And then like uncomfortable basing, and then dodged eating away at your reroll so like a uh, tackle sorry eating away at your reroll so like i didn't want i didn't want a protracted defense i was either going to go all in or all out basically you know i was prepared yeah. i was prepared for the defensive dacker you know if he if he gets a if he gets a stronger los there i'm just gonna i'm just gonna run away and lie down and, and not even try so so you know as it happened it was obviously super deep super deep kick combined with the lack of damage was just was just glorious really for me thanks andy and then and then that that uh, that fluffed pass to just oh. completely locked down. That was a shame. But then Crucifer getting the ball back, and then not moving that bull down first before making that dodge with the hobo, the oh, wrestle. God, yeah. I think that was the wrestle frenzier. That had to have been a misclick. There's a lot of speculation there why he wouldn't have moved the bull down first. It was a mistake. I'm sure that he yes, didn't well, show he, the. He was, yeah, he was. He, he, plus. Yeah, yeah. He, he was. He was behind. He was in front of the bull right from his point of view. So maybe he didn't see my player All aboard the UNFORLLRN behind his bull. Do you know what I mean? Train. I think I think that's what it was. My my, my player from my happened. side was stood in front of his bull. So maybe there were so many so many icons, so many stuff on the screen that yeah. he probably just missed uh, what's going on there because yeah, there's no way on earth Cruz would have no made way. a dodge before moving this ball. No, right? No way on earth. Yeah, that I mean that saved Thanks it. So that would have uh, we were we were we were just bemoaning that at the time because it was like oh the bull's away now yeah. and. All of that Jim played about as perfectly as he could of that half and had some some dice to back it up, and he still gets scored on in eight turns. Like, what <laughs> yeah. the fuck? What the fuck can you do yeah. if he gets away with that bull there? And that was the thing. I didn't want, like, the intense defense, right? Like, if I give him the turn to three score, Chris is really good at, like, scoring in three turns and stuff. So, like, if, if, I, if I score, then it's going to be reasonably difficult to stop him scoring in three right and he it's gonna it's Probably gonna mean exposing my good it. players yeah i'm gonna ex as it was like stalling that side it, it got away from the claw palms and stuff as well so like i had that in mind and also if i'd used a rear on the on the first dodge then i score if i if i if i, uh, if I don't roll a power on the blitz i score i just score do you know what i mean like so there were there were multiple things there were multiple points where i'm, I'm just gonna score and then i thought oh well now i've got to do it right because yeah. It, it, like I think we all looked at it. The ball, basically. I I think we all kind of looked at it, except for Calcium, who said who tried to tried to turn on his heel and get away from it. But uh, <laughs> I think every single one of us would have taken that that one in thirty six or whatever to pass the ball in and pretty much guarantee a score on that half and a, a full stall uh, versus giving Cruz a two turn. You, you know? Yeah. It yeah. Just, it, it I like like, it. Maybe it even was... a three turn. Wasn't it a three turn at that point? Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it was, was a three the... turn, yeah. I like the pass yeah. with not using the rerolls before. Like, if I'd had to use a reroll to get there, I'd just bang it in. But once I'd got those two out there without using the reroll, then obviously I've got a, re I've got a team reroll for the... I've got a player reroll for the catch, and then I've got still, hopefully, you know, probably still got the, the dodge re uh, team rerolls for the dodge outs, and I can make it very strong. I mean, oh, thank you very much, Anonymous Chira. Um... <laughs> oh my god Tony Jesus <laughs> Jesus Christ 
Jesus fucking Christ, Tony. It's too late, we read it. Jesus. Holy shit. Jesus. Holy shit, Tony, please. They're coming here, you know, to get the FBI on all of us. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I should remind you to end the YouTube. <laughs> yes, yeah, I, I, I thought the chat afterwards was good. But um, yeah, thanks th thanks so much, uh, Skuro, Calcium and Fimey. Absolutely glorious uh, commentary team. So uh, yeah, th thanks guys. <sighs> Boy, howdy. I'm, I'm like, I can't believe that all those games yesterday and then, I mean, I got the good dice this game, didn't I? Unbelievable dice. Uh, so there you go. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.